Hello, and welcome to Google Shooting 101. What does Google Shooting actually mean? Well, Google Shooting is a term that combines the word troubleshooting with Google, namely using Google to solve your problems, especially when it comes to be a topic related to technology. So to fully understand what Google Shooting really means, we're going to look at what it means to actually troubleshoot first. Troubleshooting is a process in which people try to figure out the problems and figure out how to fix such problems with their computers, usually. So that naturally leads us to the question of what specifically does Google shooting mean? As I mentioned before, Google shooting is using Google to troubleshoot. And that might seem pretty obvious, intuitive, and simple, and lots of people do believe so. However, there are a few tips and tricks that you can use in order to make troubleshooting a much more easy process. And this entire kind of idea is known as Google shooting. So to start with, how do you begin to address a problem or understand where it comes from? This is a stage known as diagnosis. In order to properly diagnose the problem, you have to understand kind of how it came about. So to do this, you have to describe the context to yourself. What did you do? Or what went right before things were happening? What went wrong before the problem occurred? What applications were involved or did you try to open or use that caused some sort of an issue? Have you seen this problem before? These are all very valid questions that you should be asking yourself to try and understand the purpose of the issue. If you can understand how to recreate or why this issue actually popped up in the first place, then you're already half the way there to solving the problem. A large portion of Google shooting involves trying to figure out what the problem is specifically when you're not really sure. So in order to do this, you have to be able to properly describe the problem. You have to be able to identify what exactly is the problem and concretely what is happening that you don't want to happen or what is not happening that you do want to happen. If you can figure this out, it is usually a much simpler process to Google shoot. So, once you have diagnosed the problem and gotten a general idea of the sort of thing that is happening that is going wrong, then you can proceed to the next step of Google shooting. Usually, there is no need to Google shoot. If you can try fiddling around for just a few seconds, you can often find the solution that you're looking for. So try simple solutions first. Solutions such as restarting relevant applications, quitting them, opening it up, or putting your computer to sleep and turning it back on again. Even restarting your computer can oftentimes work many miracles. However, there are cases in which more simpler and obvious solutions simply do not work. However, exploring the menu bar and other parts of an application can often be helpful in terms of looking for a solution. Using the help bar at near the top of your screen in order to search for a similar problem and see if something comes up. These are all forms of troubleshooting that do not directly use Google, but are often much faster to use rather than turning directly to an online source. And in, this would help you to solve your problem much more quickly than if you were to Google shoot in most instances, since you wouldn't be caught in the tangled nest of information that usually comes with searching up such a problem. However, if worse comes to worse, and you simply do not know what is going wrong, or you're not exactly sure how to fix the problem even though you've looked into it a little bit, that's when you want to start to Google shoot. In order to Google shoot, you have to be able to be comfortable with several concepts. First of all, is the idea of trial and error. Computers are very predictable. When you begin using a computer, they, there's always a fixed process that it will run along. If you do A, it will cause B to happen. In other words, if something went wrong, it is likely because you caused something to happen that made a mistake occur. Even if this isn't very obvious or explicit, it still is the case. For example, spilling water on your laptop might cause it to you know, fizzle out a week later. And while it might not be immediately clear to you that this was the case, you can still identify that this sort of thing happened even if the cause isn't immediately clear. In many cases, the process of trial and error will help you eliminate a lot of possibilities. Trying one solution will be able to eliminate several causes of the problem. Google shooting is useful in that it allows the user to narrow down possibilities and get closer to the best solution. However, there is a second tool that is extremely helpful when Google shooting, which is to be able to pick out relevant information out of the tons and tons of it that exists whenever one tries to Google shoot. Being able to sort through all of these different kinds of information, forums, different sources of information that you may come across through Google is an extremely useful tool. Now, to the meat of the video, Google shooting and what it actually entails. The first step to Google shooting is always to use a search engine of your own preference and to type in relevant terms and describe the problem. This is where diagnosis comes into great use. The information provided can be invaluable. For example, if you're copying the contents of a massive Word document onto a different kind of file, 
and you discover that there's some sort of a memory error occurring, there might be some information you can use. You might be able to copy and paste the relevant information that comes up and put that into Google. In this case, your search engine will be able to return to you some relevant information regarding the process. In many cases, there might also be a solution associated with it or common steps people take to solve the problem. Sometimes, however, the problem is simply not that simple. Either you don't get a helpful pop-up that describes the information that you can copy and paste straight into your browser, or when you post it in, it seems like there is no apparent or clear solution. A lot of this, once more, comes down to the idea of how you diagnose the problem. If you are able to, for example, list relevant applications or explain what exactly went wrong in the process in your search bar, that will often pull up a lot of relevant information that you can look through in order to understand what went wrong. For example, you might be able to find matching or similar problems similar to that of your memory issue. For example, maybe your case is simply that you haven't restarted your computer for long enough and there's something wrong with your RAM, while the thing that your search engine pulls up is a similar case in which a person has used up their memory in a slightly different way, but ultimately ran into the same issue of running out of RAM. In such an instance, you would have the exact same solution, although the causes for it are slightly different, which is why attacking the problem from multiple angles can be quite helpful, starting from potential solutions, or starting from a description of the problem, or even a description of the steps that you took in order to create the problem. All of these are viable paths when Google shooting, and it is worth mentioning that all of these should be tried. In other words, there often is no one direct clear way to Google shoot properly. This is where the idea of trial and error comes into great use. Seeing that your one solution didn't seem to work should not actually be a cause for discouragement. There will often be many other helpful solutions that come up, and if you try each of these and be able to eliminate various causes or to find various solutions, you'll often see that through these different kinds of solutions offered, you'll at least find one that works that you'll be able to use in the future or help other people out with. So finally, you'll have to see whether you actually manage to solve your problem or not. In the rare case that you can't actually find your problem online through your search engine, or that you can't find a solution to it, it is always possible to consult a professional. After you finish Google shooting, there are several steps that you should take in order to benefit your computer use in the future. First, remember and be able to accurately describe the problem that you went through. Is it something that you commonly face? Is it something that's relatively rare? And what did you do to address the problem? What was the solution that was most effective, in other words? And think to yourself why this is. Did the solution undo a mistake that you made? Or did it try to address this sort of error in a different kind of way? What did your solution do in order to fix the problem? Looking at solutions that failed is also worth your time. Thinking about why the solution might have failed for you when it might have worked for others can be a valuable lesson in the idea of troubleshooting and trial and error. For example, if you have a problem that involves restarting your computer to fix the problem, and one of the solutions posted was merely putting it to sleep and waking it up again, and that did not work for you, it might be that your computer works on a different operating system than the one that the other user posted. There are a variety of reasons why this might be the case, and it can be difficult to pinpoint this, but if you manage to figure it out, why these other solutions might not work as well, you have greatly increased your understanding of both your problem and the computers in general. Finally, using this Google shooting process, you will most likely be able to avoid similar kinds of problems in the future. Knowing what caused the problem and knowing the solution often provides a great deal of information about why the problem actually came to be and how to avoid running into it in the future, and this can save a great deal of time and hassle in the future. Overall, Google shooting is a very helpful process that can help you to understand the problems within your computer to diagnose these problems, as well as provide an effective and quick avenue in order to solve these sorts of problems while increasing your understanding about such things in general. People online are generally pretty helpful when it comes to these sorts of technological issues. And if you're confused, don't be afraid to ask yourself. Remember, Google Shooting is a tool that is always available. When in doubt, Google Shoot.